So I've got a high hamstring tendinopathy, which is a right royal pain in the butt, actually. Uh, it's a chronic severe tendinopathy brought on by um, running two marathons four weeks apart. Um, quite a bit of training in the lead up to, obviously, running two marathons quite close together was never a bright idea. And uh, the, the acute, uh, acuteness of the injury came on immediately before the second marathon. Um, we combated that with some, a quick cortisone injection to get me to the starting line and to get me to the finish line. And then the process of treating the tendinopathy started. The actual injury when it came on, um, it came on over time and then obviously with the marathon running and training uh, it was getting progressively worse. Uh, it's a hot, sharp shooting pain right up into the butt. Uh, very uncomfortable to sit for any amount of time. Uh, running itself didn't seem to aggravate it while you're running but afterwards it was uh, yeah, just an intense amount of pain shooting up nice and sharp. Uh, uncomfortable at all times. So after a run it would be pretty bad the minute I sat down for a coffee. But during the run it would generally feel okay. It was like it, when it heated up or when you got mobile and active it, it didn't feel so bad. Then afterwards it was the minute you kind of got stationary that was when it flared up. Tendonitis was diagnosed quite quickly by uh, a physio and um, following on from that the pain not going away just raised a few more red flags and the physio ultimately with lots of MRIs, uh, ultrasounds and x-rays um, diagnosed the, the pain itself as the stress fracture because by that point the stress fracture was probably well on its way to healing. I heard about PRP from some other endurance runners who had undergone some um, tendinopathy issues as well and after a lot of discussion with Chris um, we decided it was the best option forward for trying to address this chronic severe tendinopathy. Uh, what it involved was taking some blood in his rooms and centrifuging it and then uh, injecting it into the site under ultrasound. Uh, I'd heard it be, would be quite painful and um, some people had commented that it's very painful. I didn't experience that um, and the relief from the PRP was quite evident quite quickly after each session. Um, we had three sessions every two weeks apart and I was really happy with the outcome of the PRP and returning to running pretty soon afterwards. the PRP series was over, which was three weeks every, uh, sorry, three sessions every two weeks apart. The Return to Run program started after that and I, I generally was fairly happy about the progress of returning to running and getting up to about 15 k's. Uh, obviously that's not marathon training so still in the process of getting that base fitness back up again and getting into the long, longer distances. Unfortunately there's other parts of my body that have decided to throw up a, their red flags so we, um, we're addressing some of those at the same time. So if I could go back in time and do things differently, I would do more strength work. Um, it's well known that endurance runners can really, really need to focus on their form and their core and their strength and uh, it's not the most enjoyable thing to do so sometimes you've just got to get out there and do the work. <laughs>